Back to the program, Lou and Jackie here, and boy, we love keeping our eye on what's happening theater-wise here in Central Iowa. Absolutely. Get out and support live yes. local theater and some fun shows maybe you've never heard of before. Those are the ones you really want to go see because I think you're going to be surprised in a wonderful way. So we're very excited to celebrate and support Ankeny Community Theater this morning with something I've never even heard of before, Law and Order Fairy Tale Unit. What does that mean? Well, I'm very <laughs> excited that we have a couple of detectives joining us that are going to break it all down for you. We do have Doug Moon and Kitty Perez joining us here in studio. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, uh, tell everybody what this is all about. Well, we we are the detectives mm -hmm. and there's been a crime spree <laughs> and it's up to us to find out what happened and who did it. And so in the process we interview various, we'll say people. They Everyone in the show is a um, nursery rhyme character. I was going to say, the characters are a little bit different. It's a crime exactly. story, but yes. the characters are a little bit yes. different. Yeah, it's a spoof off of Law and Order, obviously, in the right. name of the title, but with nursery rhyme characters. And we play detective. I play Detective HD. Mm -hmm. I'll let you figure out what that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she plays. Uh, I play Detective Cindy Rella. So Detective oh, Cindy, yes. uh, what, type of, what type of crimes are we talking about here that you have to investigate? Oh, gosh. Um, well, there's um, kind of like building crimes, I guess you would say. Uh, <laughs> kind of uh, attacks on personal property. Yeah. Very serious. So uh, we definitely need to track down some people and see what happened there. Okay. <laughs> so uh, how do you go about doing that? Um, well, we, we travel all over the place. Um, it's pretty fast moving. So um, there's uh, park places that we go to and different houses that we go visit. Um, lots of people to track down. Mm -hmm. Are we talking like the three little pigs and what's happening property wise there or some other <laughs> stories might make it into the mix? Well, you, you kind of guessed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the the materials that these homes are made out of uh, come into play. Yes, absolutely. And, um, and so again, we don't exactly know what these materials are at first, um, but then we we go we go from one crime to the other crime, and we start realizing that this is kind of a serial crime going on here. Oh no! And that there's one person doing it, and. Um, there's some air involved to knock these houses over. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. So a little detective work, but done in yes. a very, very fun way. So is yeah. this meant for kids or adults going to love this story? What would tell us who should come out and see this? I think both. It, it's it, the, the target audience is children, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of puns in this show uh, that I think adults will like as well. Um, but primarily kids yeah. are, are really going to enjoy this show. I Absolutely. So Detective HD, what first drew you to want to be part of this uh, production? Um, I read the script and I just thought, wow, this is really cute. This is done very well. It's, it's a crime story, but in a different way. And I've never done a show that um, the target audience is children before. Mm -hmm. And so it, that really drew me into wanting to be able to do this show that the, the, the puns in here are really funny. And it looks like you have a big cast of characters. And what I love is when you can take classic characters but put them in a scenario that maybe you don't always think of, which yep. can make it a, a lot of fun. So you saw the like three blind mice and mm -hmm. uh, the pigs and the wolf and, and so much more, even you guys playing those classic characters. So is there a lesson to be learned uh, from coming to see this show? A lesson, oh my gosh. Um, well, <laughs> I'm not really too sure. Now, now what about uh, during the performance? Is this, is this something that the kids that are watching, they're going to try to figure out, you know, who did what? Yes. Um, keep an eye for liars. There's a few oh, really? of those <laughs> there. Nice. Uh, not everybody is quite who they seem to be. Um, yeah, just, you know, really pay attention to the characters. Uh, the fairy tales really come out in this show. Yeah, so Detective Cindy, same question I asked Detective HD. Um, you know, what first made you want to do something? Uh, to this level? Well, I think along with what he said was, um, you know, reading the script, it looked like so much fun. It's really a chance to let loose and just live in this different world. And uh, especially working with kids, I think that's so exciting too, just to see what they come up with along the way. Right. So All right. Sounds so like a good do, time. Do you think you're going to have some kids uh, think, saying out loud who they think might be the culprit uh, throughout the show? I think we might. I mean, I think that's pretty natural among kids to, to try to figure it out. And once they know, they're going to blurt it out. <laughs> yell it out. <laughs> um, but I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. at the end because I was ple pleasantly surprised at the end. I didn't expect the ending. Now, is there any interaction between the detectives and the audience at all? Or do you keep everything on stage? Everything's on stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right. how many players totally do we have uh, that are participating? There are 
25 cast, I believe 25 cast members. I lost count. Wait, there's so many people. I don't even know how all their names sometimes. But uh, there are 25. But some of the some of the actors play multiple roles. So the the characters in the show is upwards around 50 or 60. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of fun. And how long have you guys been practicing and rehearsing? Uh, we started, what, right before Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, quite a long time. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they're very limited, though, mm -hmm. uh, because yes. we do have other shows going on at the theater, so we're we're working our time in when we can. Absolutely, I was gonna say, but they're ready to go now because they have some great performances coming up just right around the corner. So let's talk about when you guys are hitting the stage. It looks like Saturday, January 18th uh, through January 20th is when uh, you're gonna be able for people to come out and see what's going on. Yeah, just three short days. Wow. Um, one on Saturday the 18th at two o'clock, Sunday at two o'clock, and then on Monday, which is Martin Luther King Day. Oh, that's right. Um, we take advantage of the holiday. Kids are out of school. So let's take them to a show. We have their performance at 10 a.m. and another one at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so but just a couple of days to come out and see this wonderful performance. And the best part, you can bring the entire family because tickets are just $5 to see uh, the retelling of the tale, uh, fairy tales done in a completely new way with Law & Order Fairy Tale <laughs> Unit. So January 18th through the 20th. Remind everybody, where is the Ankeny Community Theater located? Uh, north of, in Ankeny, um, just south of uh, First Street and just west of State Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you get there. And if you want a complete list of everything, as you mentioned, there's quite a few things coming up yeah. at Ankeny Community Theater, including some wonderful auditions of fabulous shows uh, for the rest of their season. You can get a complete listing if you head to their website, which is ankenycommunitytheater.com. See, I never realized Law & Order had a fairy tale in it. Well, there See, you go. <laughs> now we just we learned that here today. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for joining us. <laughs> and, and good luck with this very, very fun production. We encourage everyone to go out and see it and support live local theaters. Great thing going.